Now I am joined with a very special guest today. She is the film producer, writer, narrator, and host of the documentary Poetry in Motion, St. Louis Poets Take the Mic. Go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Oh, Dana, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so I much am, for being I here. I am Laya LaFleur Eachwin, and uh, a native St. Louisan, a daughter of this great city, and just be proud that um, Dana Christian and I, uh, my fellow producing partner, produce this amazing film. A woman of many hats. <laughs> yes. You're wearing a lot of hats, you have a lot of talents. <laughs> so tell me about this project. The film is just such a labor of love. Uh, Dana and I came together, um, actually got a call from Chris Hansen, who is the executive director of the Kranzberg Arts Foundation, and he said two words to me, street poetry. And immediately my mind went into overdrive. overdrive. I knew I could call one person who got me creatively, and that we've partnered on many occasions, and that is uh, a local filmmaker, Dana Christian. And I called Dana and I said, we've got to make a film during the pandemic. Writers, um, poets, performers were not gigging. They didn't have shows. Um, and we just wanted to infuse uh, some energy in a time that was very bleak for so many. Um, everything was shut down. It was the pandemic. We also have been in such polarizing times politically. There was so much social unrest and we wanted to give voice to the emotions and the feelings um, that everybody was experiencing. So I, I reached into my foundation, which is, um, my mother is the late St. Louis Poet Laureate Emeritus Shirley Bradley Price LaFleur. And uh, I called on many poets that, that, that have sat at, at the foot uh, and, and gotten so much wisdom from her, and many that had worked with her and, and sort of grown up in the ranks. Um, some were her peers and colleagues. So I called on Dr. Eugene B. Redmond and the Eugene B. Redmond Writers Club in East St. Louis. Um, and he came over with Roscoe Crenshaw and um, Charlize and um, Darlene Roy and just so many wonderful poets that, are, that come out of his club. And then I also called on the Poetry Center and um, Jason Vassar Elong. Uh, Marsha Khan um, came out of a, a group that my mother had back in the 80s called the Creative Arts and Expression Laboratory, J Jabari Asim, so many people near and far that either were native St. Louisans or had roots here, and, uh, and we had them lend their voices. So it, it, it was a tremendous experience. Um, Jane Iver, who is the, the, the re more recent Poet Laureate, my mother's successor, and um, and then we gave a tribute to Dr. Michael Castro, who was the poet laureate prior to my mother. It really takes and, a village. Oh, it took a village, and we had youth poets uh, coming in, the youth poets laureates, the past and present, and it was just an amazing, cathartic experience. Um, legendary artists, living legends right here in St. Louis, like Thomasina Clark, uh, and everybody just came and lend their voices and their stories, and it is a multi-ethnic, multi-generational um, experience. A must-see. Must-see. Now, very cool, again, thank you so much for being here with us. It takes a village. Very cool that you can kind of, you know, get it, tap into that creativeness in, in a bunch of different ways, especially in dark times. So, Absolutely. Poetry in Motion, St. Louis Poets Take the Mic can be seen at the 22nd Annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase on Sunday, July 24th at 2 p.m. And also tune in tomorrow to hear from another filmmaker featured in the showcase. Thank you so much for joining us.